unstoppable, persistent, and inevitable. The eagle is soaring higher than ever before. Cagayan State University Cari Campus, through the leadership of Dr. Archimedes C. Articulo, has reinvented and improved itself in the areas of instruction, research, extension, and production. In the area of instruction, Cagayan State University Cari Campus enhanced its learning environment by investing in human infrastructure. The campus supported the professional growth of the faculty members and admin staff by sending them to local, national, and international trainings and conferences. In 2015, 76.26% of the faculty members have been sent to international and national conferences. This is a clear manifestation that the campus advances the professional growth of its employees. Moreover, the campus has funded and assisted local, regional, and national conferences and seminars. For instance, the first regional nuclear science and technology conference, counseling training for PNP Women's Desk, DOST UP CSU Learning English Application for Pinoy's, Panadaman Lecture Series, were just some of the seminars that were funded by the campus. Moreover, the talents and expertise of the faculty members of Carig Campus were tapped by various agencies. Cagayan Provincial Police Office through the Polaris program, invited the guidance and counseling and psychology faculty members to lecture on stress debriefing and counseling. Likewise, the Regional Police Information Office requested the language professors of the campus to lecture on speech enhancement among the information officers of the different municipal and city police stations. Other faculty members also lectured on different topics in various government and private agencies. In its desire to expose the students to various trends in their fields of interest, the campus financed their training and conference fees. The campus also brought the educational conferences and workshops closer to the students by hosting regional and national trainings where world-class speakers were invited to share their expertise on the trends and issues in various fields. In 2015, more than 300,000 worth of financial assistance was released to participating students from various colleges. In order to establish open, mutually respectful, intelligent and sustained communications between and among heads of office and their respective subordinates in the campus, the campus executive officer created a management committee composed of heads and offices in the campus and meet every Monday or as the need arises to discuss matters about the development of the campus that are needed to be addressed. With the rise of globalization and ASEAN integration, the campus tries to improve the quality of its instruction by subjecting 98% of its program to CHED and AACUP accreditation. 25 programs are CHED accredited. 6 programs are due for Level 3 AACUP accreditation. 6 programs are due for CHED Center of Development. The campus is also gearing for its ISO accreditation. In order to give the students and the community its best service, the campus houses three big science and technology centers in the region. The Food Innovation Center, Meta Innovation Center, and the Teclas Luna Center. The campus has endeavored to reform delivery of basic student services by prioritizing the renovation of some buildings in the campus and the implementation of innovative strategies in delivering its services. The renovation and rehabilitation of the Registrar's Office and Finance Office was completed in August 2014. This is to give students and other clienteles of these offices a more comfortable space as they transact with these offices. The campus administration has increased the manpower in the Registrar's Office by hiring additional employees to assist the office in responding to students' concerns and requests. The campus administration has lobbied and was able to secure for itself in July 2014 a human resource management office complete with two full-time employees. 
This has made the processing of salaries faster, at least for the personnel who are under contract of service and job order. Currently, the campus is testing an online internet-based enrollment, registration and grade submission using the System Information and Accounting System or CIAS. Through this, students may now check their grades anytime through the use of the internet. This will also facilitate the submission of grades by the teachers as they can readily input grades online. Another thing worth mentioning is the upgrade of equipment to ease registration, queuing in offices, and the strict implementation of the no fixer and no noon break policies. As to the campus clinic, the campus has not forgotten to improve services in the campus clinic by hiring additional manpower to respond to the health needs of the students. The campus clinic now has six personnel, four nurses, one dentist, and one physician. The Dean of the College of Medicine and Surgery is the concurrent head of the campus clinic. As to clinic supplies and equipment, the procurement of needed supplies and equipment is top priority of the campus. The campus has also strengthened the guidance office by increasing its manpower, from two guidance counselors in 2013 to six guidance counselors in 2015. The campus has also shown support to continuous training of its guidance counselors. As to facility in the guidance office, the Campus Guidance Testing Center, which will be located in the left wing of the administration building as part of the building expansion, is in the pipeline for school year 2016 to 2017. The campus has also introduced innovations and new compliances in its human resource hiring policies and practices. In 2015, a public administration graduate, a PWD known to be hardworking and dedicated, was hired and became part of the registrar's office. In terms of extension, Cary Campus has developed and implemented meaningful extension programs and activities, which made the campus the top performing campus along extension for two consecutive years. The Operation Blessing, a convergent extension program, has made its landing in 12 municipalities in the province of Cagayan. These municipalities include Santa Ana, Lasam, Tuao, Kamalanyugan, Rizal, Piat, Alakapan, Santo Nino, Bagao, Amulung, and Bugay. From these municipalities, more than 20,000 Cagayanos benefited from the medical, surgical, and dental services brought by the team along with the services of the various participating agencies. Furthermore, the campus has aggressively pursued reforms in its procurement activities, resulting to massive savings amounting to 20,345,958 in 2015. This has been the biggest reported savings in the history of the university through the Bids and Awards Committee reforms and interventions. The campus has also aggressively pursued reforms in the business office, resulting to a big leap in its business income collections, from 1.2 million in 2013 to 15 million in 2015. This is so far the biggest recorded income in the campus business office. The strategies implemented by the office, headed by Dr. Roy Morgado and the support of all campus officials, have led this to meaningful accomplishments. The campus has also reformed the foreign program, particularly in the collection of its matriculation fees by implementing the no balance policy for foreign students. As part of the mechanism, the foreign students pay directly to the campus cashier and collections are deposited in the campus 164 account. The admission policies and procedures are clearly disseminated by posting in the campus website. Cari Campus is a total package of excellence because of campus wins and shared achievements. The College of Medicine and Surgery produced licensed physicians. College of Engineering also bent electrical and agricultural engineers. In terms of social cultural events, Carigans recently bagged the overall champion in University Culture and Arts Festival. 
It also became the champion in first ever Tuguegarao City Cheer Dance competition. Dr. Marlene Bakuli won the DOSTRICE competition. Dr. Andy Catulin won first runner-up Best Paper under Life Sciences Experimental category, while Dr. Erwin Torrio champs the Best Paper under Life Sciences Non-Experimental category in the Philippine Science Consortium Research Congress competition. To provide better services, the campus likewise focused on the improvement of its physical infrastructure. The lack of rooms and degrading facilities are problems that have beset the campus since time immemorial. The campus administration has made decisive action concerning this beginning 2014. The College of Medicine building with eight large rooms which commenced construction in 2014 is now 100% completed. The campus has started construction of the campus student food court to give a wider, cleaner, and more conducive space to have meals. The second and third comfort rooms of the three previously planned comfort rooms are now nearing completion. One is near College of Arts and Sciences, the second one is located near the sunken basketball court and the College of Information and Computing Sciences. All these were bidded and were approved by the Board of Regents. The campus was able to jumpstart the commencement of rehabilitation of the roofing and ceiling of College of Arts and Sciences Building A and B, College of Industrial Technology Building and College of Engineering Building through the project VINTA of Commission on Higher Education and Department of Public Works and Highways in the last quarter of 2015. The rehabilitation of the campus electrical system phase 1 completed in November 2015. This will pave way for better electric distribution to laboratories and classrooms. Concrete walk connecting gate 1 and gate 2. The roofing of this soon to be covered walk has been approved by the Board of Regents in September 2015. Relocation of campus motorcycle park and construction of motorcycle park fence. Rehabilitation of the CSU DOST Food Innovation Center that has resulted to the rolling out of equipment. Completion of the Campus Student Center. Construction of the first and only campus beach volleyball in Region 2. Repair and rehabilitation of Campus Conference Room, Second Floor Campus Central Administration Building. Provision of exclusive office space for the campus, faculty club, and campus student government. Opening of the pedestrian gate. Fabrication of iron grills and steel gate and student pedestrian gate 2. Renovation of Panataman Museum. Construction of NSTP multipurpose shade. Completion of the CICS roadway. Conversion of CAS Building A comfort rooms into two classrooms. Construction of multi-purpose workshop shade for paver production entrepreneurship program of CSU Dole. Fabrication of faculty cubicles. Conversion of unused dorm comfort rooms and stock room into bedrooms of transient boarders and teachers attending trainings in CSU Cali. 30-seater campus speech laboratory located at CAS Building A. Recently, the BOR has approved the construction of the College of Human Kinetics. The CHK building will have eight classrooms. Also, the campus encourages research in solid waste management and aggressively utilizes the results of such research in managing its solid waste management system. The campus is on its ladder to climb the peak of excellence and quality education. Through the leadership and excellence of the current administration of Cagayan State University Cari Campus, with the full support of its university president, Romeo Kilang, massive improvements will no longer be a long wait down the road. Because when passion, dedication and interest in leading and serving are on hand, pristine results will come out. Soar high, red eagle.